And the irony, again, if they had type 2 diabetes, they're insulin resistant. So if they have type 1, a little bit of insulin is all they need to help them control their blood sugar. It's a more extreme disease. You would think that they would need more of the hormone, but it's actually because they're just missing the hormone. A little bit will do the job. If you have type 2, you're insulin resistant. You've already got too much insulin. So you have to pump in a whole, you know, 100 or 200 units a day of insulin to actually have a difference on blood sugar. And in type 1, you could create hypoglycemic shock. They called it insulin shock or insulin overdose because that's what it was. You gave the patient too much insulin. So the way you treat it is you get the patient to eat carbohydrates. So for 125 years prior to insulin, you're telling people to avoid carbohydrates because they have a carbohydrate intolerance disorder. As soon as insulin comes along, which is an appropriate therapy for 5 to 10 percent of your patients, inappropriate for 90 percent, you tell them take the drug and we're now going to have you take carbohydrates, eat regularly at breakfast, at snacks, at lunch, at meals to cover the insulin. Well, the insulin's covering the carbs. 